known as one of the greatest circuits in the world. With all the elevation changes, the forest, the kind of this energy and buzz around it. It's great for racing, good overtaking opportunities. The fact that you drive through the forest and uh, it doesn't seem like a normal racetrack. I've been coming to Spa for a very long time and uh, I, always, I always love that track. It's very cold right now, considering uh, we're at the end of spring. We're looking at around zero to five degree temperatures at some point. So uh, that always makes it interesting for tire choice. I think that's the biggest thing on race weekends is to, to be on the right compound and to maximize it. So I think that will be the first question when we get out of the car tomorrow. Um, and from there, it's just how do we optimize the setup on those tires? The amazing thing is the track is so big that sometimes you have wet spots on one side and, and dry spots on the other one. So uh, you have to adapt at the moment to what tires to use, what setup to use. Um, so the strategy is, is not always going according to the plan. Um, so it's very interesting. We're working a lot with engineers uh, to prepare uh, all the tires. We have to be very focused on what we have to do to be, uh, to be sure that we put on the car, the right tires, uh, the right compound, and so on, so... Temperature, j'ai vu, elles étaient super fraîches, les jantes, là, ce matin. 3 degrés ce matin, c'était quand même... Euh... Oui, parce que toi, tu as eu les, les low, low, mid, high, high. ouais. I'm always um, working a great team. Uh, it's great to be here again uh, on track. So far, I guess, keep it up. Yeah, I didn't really extract the, 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 the best of the car, but other than this, the car was feeling, uh, feeling very good, and uh, yeah, for sure that there was a bit of pace to, to be found in the um, in the first lap that, uh, that I caught traffic. The cold tire start is extremely complicated. I, I would be shocked if no, not one of the drivers said that they almost lost it at least once. So it's a shame for Toyota, obviously, for Ferrari. All of us had a moment at some point, and it's, just, it's not an easy situation, especially in Spa, which is a bit cold. But at the end, uh, we did what we could. It's a typical Spa, uh, spa weekend so far with uh, uh, some dry lines, but the weather doesn't look uh, doesn't look perfect. Some uh, some wet lines also. So the strategy it's pretty uh, difficult to be uh, to be honest. So uh, it's a lot of question mark and uh, a lot of things are going around on the pit wall now to try to to take the best out of the the situation. Yeah, it's been a hectic race, uh, very changing conditions, uh, cars spinning around in the, in the beginning of the race. Um, the dry line is getting wider and wider, but still the temperatures are really making us struggle on, on the cold tires. Keep it up, try to close the gap. The track is getting a bit more wet, it's a bit damp. Copy. Three laps to go. 
been an exciting one, you know, with the conditions in the beginning that have been very mixed, very difficult. Gustavo did a great job there. We were on wet tires and I think it was the right call in our situation. Uh, managed to keep it on track. Uh, obviously that meant we had to stop earlier than others, which offset the whole strategy. Then had an issue in the pits, which anyway threw us back. Uh, lost another lap when there was an issue with uh, a sensor. You know, it wouldn't reach that we actually refueled. So the car thought it ran out of energy in the pit lane when we tried to leave again, but actually there was fuel inside and everything would have been fine. So it was a minor issue that had a big consequence, unfortunately. I think it was uh, an okay race in the, in the way that uh, reliability wise it was, it was very good. We didn't have any issue. So we continue on the, on the good train we had from uh, Portimao. And then in terms of performance, I mean, we, yeah, we, we're not where we want to be at the moment. So that's clearly lacking. So we're going to you know, regroup and, and work to try and improve that. Quite happy to, to see uh, progress because uh, now we have progress on reliability and now we're going to have progress on, uh, on performance.